All right, now that we've written our program, we want to run the program, so we have a couple options to do that. We can actually run it virtually on the robot that's at the top, or we can step through our program, or we can just run it from auto. So we'll start with running it virtually. So we're going to go down to the play tab on the bottom left, click that, and to run it virtually, there's a little button on the bottom left corner called test cycle, so we're going to click on that, and it's going to bring up this pop-up, so we're going to hit select all, we want to select group one, and hit apply. And you'll hear the brakes kick on and the motors will kick off. So now when we hit, uh, when we run our speed all the way up to 100%, we're going to disable our tablet on the top right corner. Then I'm going to hit the green button. And now I'm going to watch my robot actually go through the program. So this is a great way to tell if anything's going to collide, if you have a, a, if you have your drawing in there and you have your clamps and you can see what's going to hit. So now we want to run this, uh, in real life, so we're gonna hit the test cycle button again. We're gonna deselect the select all button, hit apply. You'll hear the brakes kick off and the motor kick back on. So now we wanna step through our program. So I'm gonna disable the tablet and hit reset. And then down on the bottom left, I have a little step button. So I can hit that slider and, it, and enable that. So now I can step through my program. So if I hold, if I bring my override speed up a little bit, Put it at 60%. If I hold the run button to the right to forward, it's going to run to my first position and it's going to stop when it gets there. And it's going to wait for me to slide the, for the run button to forward again. And I'm going to slowly go through the program step by step. This is great if you need to touch up a point or edit your program. You can just go right to that stepped point. It's going to stop right at the point and then you can adjust it. I'll just step through the rest of the program. So now I know it's not going to hit anything. I can disable the step. I can also hold the program, the, the run slider over to the forward and run through the program this way. And it will run continuously through the program as long as I'm holding the slider in the forward position. And then lastly, if I want to run through the program by just hitting the button and not have to use the tablet, what I'm going to do first is wait for this to get back to home. And then I'm going to go to the top right corner. I'm going to disable the tablet. I'm going to run it up to 100%. And this would be if I want to enable my weld, I'm going to go to that icon in the top center and I can enable my weld. But right now I'm going to keep it disabled. So now you'll see that my run button turned into a play symbol. Now if I have the button, uh, sorry, the start stop buttons on the front, I can just hit the green button and it will run continuously through the program. And that's how you use the play tab. If you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call or check out our other uh, videos. Thanks.